Hi, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, variable fonts in Photoshop CC 2018. We're going to start off by looking at what is not a variable font. So I've got in the properties panel a choice of Arial and we can choose italic, we can choose bold, bold italic or black. So that's not a variable font. Let's go to the first variable font. I'm going to choose minion variable concept and I've just made some favorites of these uh, variable concept fonts so they're easy to find. You can type in variable here and you'll get a whole bunch of them turning up. We'll choose minion variable concept. It comes in as regular and what you'll notice is that down here it's got a weight and optical size. Let's go ahead and use the drop down menu to choose medium, semi bold, bold. And you'll notice that the weight changed and we can actually go and change the weight slider, in which case it tells us we've chosen medium with a weight of 546. Sometimes if you choose a round number, it snaps to the actual setting. Here I've chosen 500 and it's chosen medium, which is the same setting. We can choose whatever weight we want from very light to very heavy. So this one runs from 400 to 700 and we can also choose the optical size. And you can see that has a very interesting effect on the appearance of the font. Notice also as I change the optical size, it's showing me display 26 bold. So here we've got plus 26 and I think this is what it's referring to here. It can also sometimes show text. So here it's showing text 12 bold. And so you have a little register of the font details that you've chosen and the, these will appear down here unless you happen to snap to one of the preset settings. You'll find that there are basically regular, medium, semi-bold and bold repeated all the way through with display and with the display ones it starts off with an optical size of 36. And also we've got the same thing repeated with the italics and the display italics. So with the display italics, again, we have an optical size of 36. Experiment with minor changes to the, to the optical size. But sometimes if you change it a lot, you'll get results that don't really look too good. We can still go to the character panel and here we can still choose between metrics and optical in terms of kerning. Let's choose a second font, Myriad Variable Concept. This is a really cool font. We start off with regular, but as soon as I open it up, you can see there is a really large range. And here we don't have optical size. We have weight and width. The weight allows us to choose light at 300 all the way to 900, which is black. And once again, if you go for an in-between value, it will record it in this little register here. The width, well, let's take a look at what that does. It's moving us from condensed to semi-extended option. Yeah, this is one of the really thick black options. So you can go from very, 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 very elegant to very, very heavy. Also, you find sometimes that the letter spacing becomes a bit bit too stretched or a bit too thin. This is when you want to go into the character panel and maybe play around choosing optical or metric. For this one, I think optical works fine. You'll also notice that the false bold and the false italics are grayed out. And this seems to be standard for all these variable fonts. Let's take a look at the third and final option. There are about half a dozen, but I'll cover three of them. And this is Acumen Variable Concept. You'll notice that all of these fonts have got the VAR symbol next to the open type font 
symbol. And there may be more of these in future. And perhaps they may in future be extended to web fonts as well. I'm going to choose Acumen Variable Concept. And you can see with this one, we have a third option, which is the slant. So we can choose the weight, the width, and the slant. And with this one, you'll notice that there are dozens, literally dozens, there's a thousand and one different options. This is the kind of situation where I think these sliders are gonna come in really, really handy. Now, once again, we'll try different widths and different slants. And you'll notice with this one, we're getting that really tight letter spacing there. So this will be another option where we'd go in and maybe just play around. And yeah, metrics for this one looks much, much better. And I hope you find some joy out of these new fonts. I hope you found that useful. If you did, just say thank you in a sweet voice. That should be fine. Okay, till next time. Bye.